Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be smoking up some Texas style pork belly. Stay tuned. All right, let's get started on this Texas style pork belly. I'm starting with an eight pound pork belly. And what I like to do when I make pork belly slices anyway, is divide this into sections. So I'm gonna divide this into, let me see, one, probably three sections. Let me just mark my area. This center cut right here is gonna be the best pork belly. Okay, so that looks good right there. Doesn't have to be exact, just more or less equals sections. Oh yeah, look at that nice meaty pork belly. So one of the things that I like to do when I buy pork belly is to lift up the plastic bag that these come wrapped in and take a look at that side of the pork belly. Make sure your meat to fat ratio is nice. Now the people in the grocery store might look at you a little bit weird, but you know what you're doing when you do that. All right, let's get our rub together for this pork belly. Obviously we're keeping this Texas style. So that involves a ton of pepper. So I've got half a cup of black pepper. This is a coarse black pepper. And a quarter cup of kosher salt. Give that a good mix. All right, so now that you got your rub mixed up, just get an empty shaker bottle and dump that in there. All right, so I'm using some yellow mustard as a binder. I gotta tell you, I know I've said this before in a lot of my videos, nothing works better than mustard, in my opinion, as a binder. It really grabs a hold of that rub and does not let it go. Make sure you add mustard to the front, to the back, and to the sides of your pork belly. And let's season up the pork belly really well with our salt and pepper. Pat that rub down. Get the back of it as well. Don't forget to season your sides and your edges because there's actually side police out there and they will let you know when you don't season your sides and edges. All right, that looks good right there. I've got my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker warming up at 275 degrees. I'm going to season the rest of these pork bellies and I will see you guys outside. All right, let's load up my hopper with these Jealous Devil pellets. These are a cherry, maple, and hickory blend, which is going to be fantastic on this Texas style pork belly. All right, let's load up the pork belly on the top shelf. Just gonna spread these out evenly and push them together. That way it cooks really nice and even. All right, slide your shelf back in, close the door, and we'll see you guys back in a couple of hours. Stay tuned. All right, so our Texas style pork belly has been smoking for two hours. Let's take a look at the color. Let me slide this shelf out just a little bit. Man, that bark is setting nicely. I got some water that's building up right here. So I'm just gonna tip this pork belly over and dump that out so we can develop a bark in that ball spot right there. I'm also gonna rotate the pork bellies just from left to right. Just like that. All right, so this bark is still not set. So I'm just gonna slide the shelf back in. I'll bring you guys back right before I wrap them up. Stay tuned. All right, so four hours into our cook, let's take a look at the pork belly and see what it looks like there. Looking really good. I bet you these are close to being done. But let's get an internal temperature and check the tenderness. About 197 or so. So still got a little bit more to go and it's not quite as tender as I'd like for it to be. So I was gonna use butcher paper 
but I made a last minute decision to foil boat these pork bellies. Okay, so just grab some foil, place your pork belly on there, just roll up the edges. I've used this foil boat method on briskets, ribs, and it works absolutely fantastic. It's gonna allow us to create some bark on that surface and also get the pork belly nice and tender. All right, so I've got the pork bellies in their foil boat. So I'm gonna give them about another hour. Again, they're nice and tender already, but I definitely want the temperature to go up above 200 degrees and really nice and tender. I'll let you guys know exactly how long it takes as soon as I pull them off. Stay tuned. All right, so our Texas style pork belly is ready and the total cook time was just at five and a half hours. And look at the bark on this pork belly. It's hard enough to get this bark on an offset and that 640 did a heck of a job laying down the bark on this pork belly. So I took the internal temperature of our pork belly up to 205 degrees and it was really nice and tender and it has been resting for about 30 minutes. So I think it's too tender to slice, but we'll see. I do have my electric knife right here next to me just in case this is too tender, but let's see how we did. Oh no, it's slicing really nice. Look at that, beautiful smoke ring. Really nice and juicy, look at that, wow. That looks absolutely amazing. It's tender, but it is sliceable. All right, let's grab a slice and see how we did. Look at that, beautiful smoke ring. That fat is rendered nicely. In fact, looks like all we have is meat right there. Let's check the juice level. Look at that. It is just dripping, okay? Now, I wouldn't normally squeeze my pork belly, but I just wanna show you guys exactly how juicy this pork belly came out. Oh yes, let's give it a taste. All right, let's give this pork belly a try and see how we did. Look at that, I'm still amazed at the bark. There we go. Mmm. Very simple ingredients, nothing but salt and pepper, and this is so darn good. Mmm. So what can you make with this Texas style smoked pork belly? Well, you can make a simple sandwich, you can make some tacos, or maybe just chop some up over some jasmine rice. That would be absolutely savage. But you know what? Let's make a sandwich out of this pork belly. All right, so I've got myself a brioche bun right here. I'm just gonna add some Duke's mayo to the top and the bottom. Add enough. This is a real simple, but so darn tasty sandwich. Grab some red onion. If you don't like red onion, just leave it out. And grab two nice thick slices of this pork belly. This is a very meaty pork belly. There's a little bit of fat on the center, but the majority of that is all meat. This is gonna be absolutely delicious. And that's it. Simple and delicious pork belly sandwich. Let's give it a try. All right, let's give this sandwich a try and see how we did. This is gonna be good. Here we go. I'm not even joking. This is probably the best sandwich that I've had all year. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this Texas style smoked pork belly. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.